What's up, Scorpio? And welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. So, Scorpio, I didn't realize that this past reading I did, y'all, somebody gonna be getting an unexpected visitor because they came out twice. I didn't even realize that that energy came out in that last reading, okay? All right, Scorpio, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this reading, you guys. We're gonna start off with some self-care messages okay so if anything resonates like this video subscribe comment and if you want it personal my email will be in the description box so scorpio you can be seeing the numbers 5 55 or 555 okay but with this self-care uh, message it talks about doing a beauty ritual but this beauty ritual that you do scorpio it's going to be more like a sacral experience okay this could be anything from doing your nails getting a facial applying makeup getting a massage okay any beauty ritual that you do make it more like a sacral experience okay then we also have soaking in the bathtub okay you can be seeing the numbers 46 but when you soak in the bathtub see she got those candles have some crystals some flowers some it some um essential oils you know something to make it more like an um a sacred experience okay just imagine scorpio if you can wash away anything that no longer serves you by soaking in that tub washing it all the way and getting up and feeling so carefree at that time okay so soaking in the bathtub scorpio could be just a very good self-care plan then also making a vision board some of you could be seeing the numbers 33 scorpio let me read this card right quick all right so with this vision board this is also a play this is also a way of manifestations okay this is a way of you know, getting crafty with your paper and pencil or even just cutting out images from magazines or things like that. And it's like putting it together and putting out, you can even do it like for romance, you know, putting out there what type of person you want. See, she got exercise and things that you want to work on. This is a way of manifesting as well, okay? But it's like putting it more into detail. All right, Scorpio. So that's what our self-care messages. And now I'm going to pull a couple of angel numbers because I did not do angel numbers in that last video. So let's do a couple angel messages before we get into this reading, Scorpio, okay? All right, messages for my Scorpios. Give me a couple angel numbers for my Scorpio spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. Let me get a couple angel numbers for my Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, we have 12. You are being encouraged to find a different way to improve your environment and also your home life, okay? So you could be seeing the numbers 12 and 12, 12, okay? This is encouraging you, Scorpio, to maybe do something, change something about your environment. You know what I'm saying? Your living room, maybe switch some stuff up. Or also, Scorpio, about your home life. Maybe set some different routines and maybe get out of routines and be a little bit more spontaneous maybe doing something different with your kids maybe being able to balance work and 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 and, and uh spending time with your kids as well okay all right then we also have zero 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 you have limitless support from your angels and your spirit guys okay i think this was a number that i stated earlier in um the energy reading, okay? You'll be seeing this number. So this is letting you know, Scorpio, that you have limitless, okay? The the support that you have from your spirit guides at this time is limited. It ain't no limit, baby, okay? And then we have eight, okay? Some of you could be seeing eight, 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 or 888, eight, eight, Scorpio. You have a higher purpose here on earth with the divine. As you align yourself on this path, it will provide you with great success, Scorpio, and abundance. All right, Scorpio. So now let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go. Let me move these out the way. All right, Scorpio. So we're gonna start off with some messages through music. Messages through music. I don't think I done pulled from this from for a couple of days. So let's see what messages through music spirit has for you guys today. Messages through music. I love you, Scorpio. What messages through music do you have for my Scorpio today? All right, Scorpio, we have Lauren Hill, sweetest thing I've ever known. Okay, so Scorpio, something could be the sweetest thing or you can be feeling like someone is the sweetest thing that you've ever known. Or Scorpio, this could be how someone is feeling about you. Okay, they're feeling like that you're like a kiss on the collarbone. Okay, this is someone, Scorpio, that wants to come kiss you all on your neck, Scorpio, because they feel like that you are the sweetest thing that they've ever known and Scorpio this is someone that is like it's the you be okay they saying you are always on their mind so Scorpio someone feels like you're the sweetest thing they ever known okay and this is someone Scorpio that can't seem 
to get you off their mind, okay? And this one little thing, Scorpio, this person wants to ask of you, okay, with Raphael Sadiq. So this person may have one little thing, Scorpio, okay? This person wants to ask of you. We're going to see what the hell they want to ask, Scorpio. Let's pull a couple more messages through music. All right, messages through music for my Scorpio. Send me a couple more messages through music for my Scorpio. Messages through music. What message? Ooh, yeah, that Scorpio. Hold on. All right, Scorpio, we got escape. Okay, clap your hands, stomp your feet. Every little thing that you do to me, hey, you feel so good. Somebody saying, Scorpio, every little thing. That you do to them feel so good, Scorpio. Okay, somebody here may want to look something from me. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see here. Let's pull some more messages to music. All right, messages to music. Somebody saying, Scorpio, you are always on their mind. It's every little thing, Scorpio, that you do to them. It feels so good. All right, messages for my Scorpios. What messages to music do you have for my Scorpios today? All right, Scorpio, we have T-Plane, blow your mind, okay? So, Scorpio, something here somebody's going to do is going to blow your mind. Or Scorpio, somebody here is thinking about doing something that's going to blow your mind, Scorpio, okay? And this could be someone, Scorpio, that feels like something keeps pulling them back every time they try to leave. Something keeps pulling them back, okay? So this could be your energy, Scorpio, every time you try to leave somebody. But I feel like, Scorpio, this is someone that's like every time they don't try to leave you alone, something keeps pulling them back to you, okay? And this is someone, Scorpio, I feel like then that's going to come in and do something, Scorpio, that's going to blow your mind, okay? All right. Look at this. Now that I've fallen, what am I going to do, Tyrese? What did he say? Um, I can't remember exact words. I know he said, what, it, what, ah, shit. He said, now that I've fallen, what am I going to do? Okay, so Scorpio, this is someone that realized they have fallen in love with you, Scorpio. That's what it is. Someone here realizes, Scorpio, they have fallen in love with you, okay? You are on their mind all the time, and this person wants to come in and do something that's going to blow your mind, okay? All right, Scorpio. We got to see who this is. All right, let's put a little bit no cap. Well, let's go up here. Where are we going? Let's go to this. Uh, let's go here. All right. Messages for my Scorpio. Let's pull up in this love island deck. Let me get some water, Scorpio. Hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more about this situation for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. I need to bust open this pop drop I got over here. All right, messages from my Scorpio. Tell us more about this situation for my Scorpios. Messages from my Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, we have Cupid's arrow, okay? Half faith, love is common, Scorpio, okay? So some of you guys, someone here is going to surprise you. They're going to surprise you with some type of invitation, or this person's going to come, they're going to want you to meet them somewhere. But Scorpio, you could be hesitant about this person, okay? So Scorpio, I feel like you were dealing with someone that possibly was in and out of your life with this. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. So it's like this person, I feel like, didn't realize what was pulling them back to you, okay? But Scorpio, Cupid's arrow has been shot. And I feel like now, Scorpio, this person realizes why they keep being pulled back to you, okay? So this person could come, want to come towards you, Scorpio, with some type of surprise. You know what I'm saying? Maybe invite you out somewhere. You're going to be hesitant. You're going to be like, uh-uh. I don't know about that now. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us more spirit. All right, then we have girl with the snake, okay? And for some of you guys, you were the empath, and this was a narcissist that you were dealing with, okay? This is someone, some Scorpio, okay? They were always charming you. You know what I'm saying? Trying to charm you out to draw, trying to charm you out money, trying to just charm you all the time, okay? This could have been someone that was also using you, Scorpio, okay? And it was like, at some point in time, Scorpio, you enabled this behavior, okay? But I feel like now, okay, or in the recent past, you have set boundaries with this person, okay? I feel like in the past, Scorpio, you didn't realize that this was a narcissist. Look at this. This is a girl playing with this snake. 
and this snake wrapped all around her, okay? You didn't realize how this person was. You know what I'm saying? You didn't realize the person was charming you and all that shit, and they attack your ass out the blue or something happened. You know what I'm saying? Out the blue, and I feel like that's why you're going to be hesitant when this person come in. You know what I'm saying? They want to talk to you. And then we have Karma Scorpio, but this is sideways, okay? So Scorpio, someone has been reminiscing about this connection, okay? I feel like someone here is, is learning from the past, okay? They haven't learned all their, their mistakes, okay? They haven't learned everything. This person is learning from the past, okay? And they're learning, you know what I'm saying? Maybe what they did wrong in this connection. But this is someone, Scorpio, that wants to come in and make some new memories, okay? So this person feels like the memories that you have with them, Scorpio, it is not the best, okay? And that's why we have hesitancy here. I keep thinking about this hesitation. Like, when this person come in, Scorpio, you're going to be like, I don't know. Like, I remember, you know what I'm saying? You said you was going to do this, 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 and that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't do none of that shit. So it's like, you could be hesitant when this person comes in and possibly want to come towards you. All right, let's pull a couple more messages, and we're going to pull some oracle. And we're going to see what happened between you and this person. All right, messages from my Scorpio. Tell us more. <clears throat> All right, Scorpio, we have soulmate, okay? For some of you guys, this could be your soulmate, okay? You and this person have some type of soul contract, okay? And this could be the why this person's realizing that every time they try to leave, something keeps pulling them back, okay? Because you're soulmates, okay? Some of you guys, you are meant to be with this person, but I feel like you separate from this person. This person had to learn from their mistakes, okay? We're going to see what this person did. All right, then we have masks, okay? Scorpio, this is someone, for some of you guys, they were not showing you their true feelings, okay? This person was wearing a mask, okay? They were pretending to be something else, okay? This is someone, they were gaslighting you. They were hiding their true feelings. So this person, Scorpio, that was wearing a mask in the past, I feel like this person will come in, Scorpio, and blow your mind. This person is realizing, okay, they have fallen in love with you, and they don't know what to do. This could have been someone, Scorpio, in the past. They could have been in a codependent relationship, or this could have been a very codependent relationship that you had with this person. This person could have been very obsessive over you, like they ain't want you going nowhere, talking to nobody, they was asking you, well, where you going? Who you been with? What, you know what I'm saying? Ask you questions and shit all the time. But I feel like you can ask this person nothing, okay? This person could have been very possessive over you. Like, that's mine. That's my kid. That's my, you know what I'm saying? That's mine, okay? This person could have been very controlling. But they had a block, Scorpio. Something was blocking them, I feel like, from loving you or seeing what this connection that they shared with you was in the past. Something was restraining them. And this person could have been restraining themselves. But this card is in reverse, Scorpio. So everything I just described, this person is not in their energy anymore because remember Scorpio this person has learned and they're learning from their past mistakes all right let's pull one more then we're gonna pull up on this no cap and it came out quick some of you guys yes this person has put an end into something okay so this could have been Scorpio that was in and out of your life or going between you and someone else this person has put an end in a Scorpio you put an end in to this situation but this person wants to bring this situation from the dead you know what I'm saying they want to have a new beginning this person Scorpio saying they have grown now you know what I'm saying because we got to learn from their mistakes this person has grown they saying they have changed here okay so this person, Scorpio, they want to raise this, you know what I'm saying, this shit that you done put to the end, that you done put to rest. They want to raise this relationship, this connection from the dead, Scorpio. So let's pull some messages here. What do I do with my no cap? All right, let's see what happened between you and this person. We're going to pull here and we're going to pull from this situation ship. <clears throat> All right, messages from my Scorpios. What happened between my Scorpios and this person that they were dealing with? Messages from my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. And if anything is resonating for you, baby, don't forget to like this video. Messages from my Scorpios. Tell us more about this situation for my Scorpios. All right. Messages from my Scorpios. Tell us more about this situation for my Scorpios. All right. We have not ready for marriage, Scorpio. Okay. So someone here, Scorpio, may not be ready for marriage. So you know what, Scorpio? I'm going to tell you something. Hold on now. We're going to see if Spirit going to clarify this. Remember I said here, T-Pain, blow your mind. Somebody here wants to do something that's going to blow your mind, right? I feel like, Scorpio, for some of you guys, this person may ask you to marry them. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you may not 
be ready for marriage, okay? Or someone here is not ready for marriage. We're going to see, Scorpio, this is going to be you. Then we have, I feel like my needs are more important than yours, okay? So, Scorpio, when you could have been dealing with this person in the past, that's that narcissist shit, this person felt like their needs, whatever they wanted, whatever they need, it was more important than yours, okay? So, if they feel like they need to do this versus spend time with you, call you, tell you the truth, whatever, Scorpio, they felt like their needs were more important than yours, then we also have karmic lesson. Yes, where was that card at? This person here has learned from their lesson, okay? This person is learning from their past mistakes, Scorpio, okay? So someone here possibly made a, met a karmic or they were dealing with a karmic, okay? Because remember I said earlier, this person possibly was in and out of your life. So they possibly was dealing with a karmic and they learned a lesson from dealing with this karmic, Scorpio. So we're going to put that to the side. <clears throat> Then we have, I'm sorry I couldn't be the person that you needed me to be, okay? So, Scorpio, this person wants to let you know, okay, they're sorry that they can be that person that you need them to be. They was a narcissist, a narcissist at that time, you know what I'm saying? And for some of them, they probably didn't even know that they was a narcissist, okay? But I feel like now this person understands what kept pulling them back, okay? Because they were in love with you, but they are sorry that they couldn't be that man or that woman that you needed them to be. Let me get this cop out right quick, Scorpio. I know I ain't been talking that much. Okay. Let's pull a couple more messages here. All right. Messages from my Scorpio. Tell us more about this situation. For my Scorpio. Tell us more. All right. Messages to Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Whoever this person is, Scorpio, they almost called you this person's name, okay? So they could have been having sex with somebody else, Scorpio, and they almost said, Scorpio, and this motherfucker probably looked at them like, what? And for some of you, this could have been an earth sign, bro, go towards a Capricorn, okay? All right, messages from my Scorpio. Tell us more. All right, we have the apple didn't fall far from the tree, okay? So Scorpio, however this person is, they family like this, they friends like they like that. The apple didn't fall far from the tree, Scorpio. They around similar people, okay? They around a lot of low vibrational people, people that's just like them, okay? And sometimes, Scorpio, because you was vibing high, you made this person feel uncomfortable sometimes. You know what I'm saying? You could have called them out on their shit. You know what I'm saying? They weren't used to people doing that because they was used to being around other low vibrational people that did the same thing they did, okay? So nobody in this circle, nobody that they, they, they was around, you know what I'm saying, seen anything wrong with what they did. But Scorpio, you did, and you called them out on their shit, and I feel like this made this person feel uncomfortable with you, okay? For some of you, you could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And for some of you, this person could have felt like you just complained too much, okay? And that's why they felt like their needs were more important than yours because you was always complaining, but you weren't complaining, Scorpio. You just expected this person to give you the same thing that you was giving them, okay? Let's see what y'all was dealing with. We've got a narcissist here. So let's see what type of person y'all was dealing with, Scorpio. All right, messages from my Scorpio. Tell us more. What type of person was my Scorpio was dealing with? I almost did my damn card. Messages from my Scorpio. Tell us more about this person that my Scorpio was dealing with. All right, Scorpio is dealing with a narcissist. Tell us about this narcissist, dude. Tell us about this narcissist. Unworthy. Okay, this is someone, Scorpio, they didn't think much about themselves, okay? And if they didn't think much about themselves, Scorpio, they damn so didn't think much about you, okay? So this person here, they feel unworthy. I feel like this person was very insecure with themselves. This is someone also, Scorpio, that was disconnected. Physically and emotionally, okay, from a part. Okay, so this is someone, yes. This is someone that was lack. They were codependent. Where the card at? This is someone, Scorpio, that was codependent. And it was like when they were disconnected physically or emotionally from their partner, okay, they began to feel scared or they lacked confidence, okay? So this person, whoever they were dealing with, Scorpio, was like they all lacked confidence, all their strength, all of their everything came from this relationship. So whenever they was on and off with this person, it was like their, their feelings, their emotions was always on and off because it was based on how them and this person was, you know what I'm saying? So if they was in a good place with this person, that they were dealing with, then they were good. If they were not in a good place with this person, you know what I'm saying, they were not doing good. They was mean. They was agitated. They was, you know what I'm saying, just doing the most. Then we have greed, okay? This could have been someone, Scorpio, what was that, materialistic? Did that card come out this time? 
that was in the energy read, okay? This Scorpio was someone that was very greedy. They were very materialistic. They were attached to things in an obsessive way, Scorpio. They were attached to money. You know what I'm saying? Things of the world in an obsessive way. All right, message for my Scorpio. Tell us more about this narcissist. All right, then we have resentful, okay? I feel like, Scorpio, some of you guys, you could resent this person. You know what I'm saying? It was like, but I feel like resenting this person, it really was restricting your emotional happiness, okay? It was like when you had thoughts of this person, because remember, we had make memories. Like this person wants to come in and make new memories because they know that the memories or the thoughts that you have of them, it ain't that great. So I feel like some of you, you could have started resenting this person. It was like when you started doing that, your emotional happiness, your peace of mind, all that shit was blocked. So I feel like Scorpio, even though this person could have been someone that played games or did whatever they did, you know what I'm saying, was in and out of your life, it was like, you know, resenting them is not going to make the situation better, I mean, worse, better. It's only going to make it worse for you because you're not going to be able to move forward. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to, to be able to heal from this situation. All right, so let's pull a couple more. All right, Scorpio, and then we have, you were too needy for me. That's why I said with this codependent relationship, Scorpio, for some of them, you could have felt like this person was too needy for you. You know what I'm saying? Codependent on Scorpio, this person could have felt like you were too needy for them. Because remember, you complain too much. This person could have felt like you complained too much. You was too needy. And Scorpio, sometimes now we can be in that Queen of Cups energy in reverse. You know what I'm saying? And when we're in that energy of, of, of not loving ourselves, you know, we can come off you know what I'm saying, or come across as being very needy and very clingy, okay? So if you were, were not maybe satisfied in life or happy within yourself, you could have came off as me and this person, Scorpio, okay? I right, see so one more message here. And then we got, I got tricked, okay? So this person could have felt like Scorpio, that they got tricked, okay? We, we possibly know this person is dealing with a third-party situation, okay? Because this person saying they learned from their mistakes, okay? This person went high in their true feelings, you know what I'm saying? So this person possibly could have been dealing with a third party. They was in and out of your life dealing with this third party, but they could have felt like this third party tricked them maybe into getting back in a relationship or revisiting a connection here, okay? All right, Scorpio, that's all I have for you guys. If anything resonates for you, don't forget to like this video. And until next time, stay blessed.